Strand is an intricate part of New York City and its community. It's a shopping experience when you come here, a, a real tactile feel. It's a serendipity of what you'll find, you really never know. Plus we have a great staff. Every person here has majored in English and they want to, um, to help you find books and help you discover things that you might never have known about. The Strand was founded 93 years ago by my grandfather, Ben Bass, and it was in an area in, in New York City called Book Row, which had 48 other used bookstores. He was competing against all of them. One was called the Cheapest Bookstore, one was called Friendlies, they had a music bookstore, they all specialized in, in different things. With rents rising in the 1950s, they all started to sh shudder and my dad um, was involved in the business at that point. His name is Fred Bass. He took a leap of faith and he found the space that we reside in right now. My dad passed away two years ago. I've been working with him for 32 years, but he left the store to me, so I'm now running it. It's challenging to be a woman boss. I like it because I, I do have control over my life. The fun part is that I can think of new ideas, I can think about what authors to have here, I can actually don't have any bureaucracy, I can implement it. And there are more and more women um, bookstore owners. I consider it to be a community center of New York City. I think it's a place where you can find great reads, where hopefully these books will inspire you or you can escape in them. I've heard plenty of artists say that they've gotten inspiration for their pieces from it, writers where you can connect with other people or you can connect with authors. So I think of it really as part of the fabric of, of New York City. Strand collaborates with lots of nonprofits. Uh, we uh, put up a library for the Fresh Air Fund. Um, they provide summer camps for uh, urban kids that are kind of stuck in, in the city. We also do lots of events with Penn, which is an organization that promotes uh, freedom of expression for authors and journalists all internationally. The other thing is that we welcome and give um, tours for students and we try to educate them on, on about books and about um, book selling and um, we every kind of, of student uh, from grade school on to uh, college and people in writing programs too, MFA programs come in here and I give them tours. What's coming next for The Strand? Um, well for one thing we've opened up a new location which is 450 Columbus Avenue. It's located two blocks just north of the Natural History Museum. We're going to do more and more fun events here at the Strand, so we always keep improving here at the Greenwich Village location at 12th and Broadway. So please, please come and say hello to me.